me. It's kind of po t so to be to be fair though, it doesn't feel like a lot of like random people are playing Z Broly, but there are a bunch of like high level players in the states who are playing Z Broly right now. And Z Broly's story is a is a long story though. It's a long story because in season one when this character dropped, if you guys remember, if you remember, people hyped him up for his like unblockable. He had like an unblockable setup, but eventually people figured out how to get out of it. And there was the issue too, where uh, his armor didn't work. Anyone remember that? His armor doesn't work the right way. He used to have that problem. He used to have an issue where his armor, I believe Vanish broke the armor straight up was what it was. I don't remember it correctly. And then of course the other thing, cause that was actually a big deal, but they, they uh, fixed it pretty quickly. The other thing of course was our good old friend, our good old friend, Mr. Fuzzy, Mr. Fuzzy, our good old, our good old mix-up tool where, you know, and this is more, this is bigger in season two than season one, because in season one, more characters had actual 50-50s, so people weren't using fuzzies that much. One of the main reasons why fuzzies even became so prevalent in the game is because they kept taking mix-ups away. So it got to the point where people were like, I don't really have anything else I can do besides this thing, and I get a combo off it, so like, why not do it, right? Before, like, I mean, Kid Blue aside, it's like, Bardock didn't have to fuzzy you because he could do, like, 236M, assist call, air dash, high low, like, stuff like that. Character, Gotenks had, like, a million ways he could mix you up before, right? Uh, a lot of characters had ways he could mix you up, then they took those things away. The only, the only option became fuzzy against these characters that they're available. So, a lot of people were really scared to play Broly before because they were scared of getting hit by this. This little kick, just this little kick. As time went on, though, we, I'm, I shouldn't say we a small group of people were like this actually is not a big deal and it got to the point that there are multiple people in the finals who play uh, tall characters i did think it was fair that uh you should only play one on a team i think that's kind of fair but it's not it wasn't stopping anybody there are plenty of successful players you could list who all play tall characters that could get fuzzy but that brings us to season three so season three they take that shit out that's step one that's step one for a lot of people is that they take that out um it is nice it's a nice thing that you don't have to worry about they take that shit out and they take out a snap, so his defense is implicitly buffed. That's the first thing. On top of that, too, the system benefits him with limit break, so now he does more damage when he's solo. A lot of people like picking him anchor, but there's also like you gotta look at him at a char as a character too, because he's had a lot of these things for a long time. So the first one obviously would be key blast, right? His key blast has a special property on it where it is more powerful, like a higher level, than other key blasts in the game. Right? And it has a ton of hits done, and it's really easy to hit confirm. It's really, really easy to hit confirm. You just hold the button, and you could aim it up, so it hits jump height. This is, of course, very, 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 very important in the game. Most people don't have good counterplay for this. People don't have a good counterplay for this. What do they have? What do they have? You have system mechanics, super dash is mad risky, right? If you get to mid range, it can be done, but if not, then you're kind of screwed, right? Uh, if a character, there's some characters who have like moves, Cooler is one of them, 3H, Trunks is another, he has CTF, that like go through Key Blast, Gotenks another one, like moves that go through Key Blast so you can hit him, that's okay. Um, and then there's stuff like Moon Jump that is like an option, but not everyone is good at doing it. Right? I could give it like a couple tries. Like I didn't I didn't even do the super jump one, I did the normal one. As you can see, there's not a lot of counterplay to it. There is counterplay. Uh the the main the main thing you gotta think about too is like, you know, there's no chip damage, so you can chill. Like especially if you have the lead, you can like kinda chill. Uh he has to like do something to you, right? Then there is this move. Okay. This move is magic too. Uh beats key blast. Mad plus, it's plus 19. So if you combine the fact that he has a, his key blast also is super fast. So like, if you block this, it's kind of hard times for you. So for instance, okay, like you can't really move, all right? Now this has plenty of counterplay to it though. This has plenty of counterplay. The main thing being that if you see it, so look, it's like a long duration. He can't really do anything, so you can like shoot him. So as long as you have something that goes full screen, you can like do say like this, and then like this. 
right? It loses the jumping too. You can jump over it most of the time. Well, what happened is, like, this happens mostly. Like, you get over it because it it hits pretty high. It hits pretty high, but like, it's not gonna hit jump height straight up. It's not like a uh, Super Broly's where it goes up. It just goes forward. There's also this, the barrier. So he has like the best key blast and he has stuff to ignore yours. Uh, I sort of feel like they gave him this in case he's playing alone. Right? Uh, this thing ignores all, 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 all projectiles. It's very, very, very strong and lets him play like a bully, which is, it's nice when you have it though. It's very nice when you have it. He has big normals too. So this is pretty important in this game. Most characters have stubby normals, right? Here's base Vegeta, we were talking about him earlier today, right? His normals are kind of small, kind of stubby. This is by design. I mean, one, he's not tall, but uh, he's not tall, but also it makes it hard to touch people. So uh, you can think about like, this is a little bit of a tangent, but sort of, most anime games, you can think about how much you're actually going to engage the person by how big the screen is. Like a game like Multiplayer has a pretty big screen. MBAA has a pretty big screen. Guilty Gear Action Core has a pretty fucking big, long screen. But Exert has a pretty small screen compared to uh, Action Core. Dragon Ball has a huge fucking screen. It's like huge, 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 huge. We know how high you can go. We know how horizontal you can go. And on top of that, the characters all have small moves. So it's kind of... It's, it's by design that it's kind of hard to catch people like that. So having big normals is really, really helpful because you can, you know, you can reach them. This is 5M that's kind of like an exaggeration, but his jab is really big. His 2L is really big. His air normals are big. They all reach. It's, you can actually get there. And then there's armor too. Armor. So let's talk about the armor real quick. So his armor, like I said at the beginning, used to not work, but now it does work. It's, it's about frames, so if you see, it's about frames. Like, he's gonna armor totally until, like, the armor frames are done. Uh, this makes him already the armor really strong, but you also have to consider, too, that nobody has jump cancelable stuff, and it's considered blocking, like, you're not hitting him, which makes the armor, like, extra good. So, the main ways you would have to deal with the armor, so, uh, since we're all playing online, right, it kind of sucks, you gotta react pretty quickly if using elves. But if you have characters that have multi-hitting moves, you can react to his armor as you saw. See how he freezes like that? So characters like Bardock and Gotenks can use like multi-hitting moves to confirm the armor and then do something. So for instance, like, I'm just gonna do that just cause, but. So Bardock before I used to do his in invo level one after doing uh, like Mixer. Uh, with Gotenks is a little bit better because he has, like, move into move, you know? He has move into move, so he has more time to do it. You have to experiment with your characters, see what you can do. But you can't complain about the armor unless you practice this, so you need to find an answer. The other thing to remember, too, is that they're all minus 9 on block. So if you block them and they don't vanish, it's over for them. Then he has this anti-air grab. This is just amazing. Uh, well, his is actually, funny enough, not one of the best ones, though. It's, it's, he has one, so it's good, but he, you have to go to the air, so it makes it a little bit harder to use. Uh, but it's an amazing move. The return is really high as well, especially if you use the EX version. Uh, any person who has moves that grab you out of the air is automatically an amazing tool because, again, Dragon Ball is a jumping game, not a running game. So people are going to be jumping. You have to run over and scoop them. He has that. That shit is mad good. And we also have to talk about his offense, too. So his offense... All these things aside about neutral game, because his neutral game is like, people are hard to catch as we talked about with the stage being huge and stuff, but he has a bunch of stuff like between the key blasts and the anti-air grab and big normals. And in case it gets scrambly, he has armor to bet with too. So he has a lot of ways to control the screen. Uh, people are obviously gonna like that, but also his offense, he doesn't need assist to do stuff per se like assist can help his offense obviously it helps everyone's offense but he has an unseeable uh command grab so his this is 17 frames right if anyone tells you that they can see this they are full shit you can't see that shit it's too fast and this command grab actually is two things so besides it having armor which is kind of stupid uh 
this also enables him to play alone right so he's kind of flexible at the same time so uh like for instance basically the most successful way to use broly is like you bring him in you kill a character bring him in like he has good support you kill a character bring him in and then your your assist enable him and you go ham with him but because you're playing him in the anchor slot in case things go badly you have him in the pocket and he does both of the good anchor things at the same time he can run away play defensively and it's hard to catch and he can open you up because he has an unseeable command grab uh his medium command grabs and ex command grab they're both 24 which can hit people they're reasonably fast uh and he gets really really high return from them and again like limit break benefits him too because now all this shit is doing more damage the thing i think really pushes him to like the next level to like top five because like all that stuff is like really good but uh when you see like your standard broly player one thing about him and one thing about anchor broly in general is that he does not really do much damage like this is a cap combo obviously but he's not he's not that good at doing damage alone or if you don't optimize but if you take the time to optimize him with assists or he has a lot of resources it's really really over for you like he does mad damage uh it definitely helps on top of that that uh limit break gives you a bar for free so for instance like This is one assist, right? Uh, it is pretty easy for me to do more damage in this. This is just like an example combo. But this is what happens when like, if you have resources, extra resources, uh, you can dump them out really easy with him. He has level three into level three. If you optimize with him, you will get uh, rewarded for him for sure.